Hi guys, uh, okay, there's a mic mic in here. Okay, so there's a mic all the way up there. Anyways, um, I am in my little workshop, so I cannot work in a place that has proper lighting, so I'm currently in the garage of our house. Oh, anyways, this is how the paper mache koi fish looks after it's been dried up. And then the surprise, so something that I've been working with off camera, I made a starfish. So this is what I did. Here's my starfish. So the first thing I want to do with the starfish, because I know it's going to take a longer time, I want to, what I saw in the internet, what they do with the starfish, they use the hot glue gun to like make these like circles on the starfish for like texture, because you know starfish are not just like this. So what I'm first going to do is, so I'm starting to um, use my glue gun. Also, so you don't damage yourself this is always use glue gun on a piece of newspaper yeah so i'm plugging it in and i got glue sticks that are way too small for the glue gun but please tell me why clear glue sticks are more expensive than black glue sticks the clear glue sticks could fit nicely in the glue gun but i have to get glue sticks that are now small for the glue gun just to save money because I, I already spent like 200 rand on everything i did not expect the much part to be 80 rand that is so crazy um so as i'm waiting for the glue gun to heat up i'm gonna start painting my base coat the white on my the first layer of white of the koi fish I'm putting on my first layer. I just bought this paint. Did I mention that? Okay. Oh, my video is too loud. Oh, so I just bought this paint. Dipping it in the water. Also, this paintbrush. Because I wanted to cover like a large area. So, dip it in, dip it in. You guys must just make sure your paint is right before you buy it. Because one time I bought paint and like it was just chunky. And I still have that paint. And I was like, I couldn't go return the paint because like I. I, I threw away the receipts. That's a lesson. Don't throw away your receipts. And also check your paint. Make sure it's flowing. Because I don't want to get scammed again. I don't want to get chunky paint. Like instead of a liquid. So now I just finished with my base color. Uh, I hope this is showing bright. There's so much lighting everywhere. Because it's so dark in here. This is how it looks. I painted the back even. I made little eyes. So... Now, oh my gosh, let me put down slowly. I'm gonna do these. Uh, I'm gonna get paint all over my car. These things on it next. So, I need to go find my paint that is in that color, and then I'm gonna make little things on it. Okay, so I uh, did my orange spots on the fish, and I couldn't find my black, but I had like this green that is like dark enough to look like black. So, like. This is how my final product looks, I guess. Let me just take a proper thingy. And my starfish so far, I think this is gonna be a fail because it, like, the, it's not looking right. Like, like from this angle of the camera, it looks okay. But like, if I bring it closer, you're gonna see all these lines from the hot glue. Like, every time I lift it up, it's gonna leave like a, a weird trail thingy so that's yeah like like this for example so i'm gonna continue working on that i'm gonna try to make it work after this dries i'm gonna put a layer or a few layers of notch podge on it yeah i hope it turns out right because i don't wanna oh. So I added like a few finishing touches i saw some people have red on their koi fishes <laughs> I put some red on it. Does that look some side view from the top? Yeah. Um, I think I know how to save the starfish. I'm gonna go over with like a. Let me see what the name of the color is. Lavender blue. Um, this. What is this? Let me just take this off. Ah, it's hard. Why is it crunchy? I don't wanna break a nail. This is so proper. This paint is unusable. 
it's just chunky inside like i like it dried up no okay i think i can find my second base i don't know what happened to my other yellow though i need to find alternatives here maybe before i'll find a way so i think i find a solution found a solution so i bought this like little paint thingy because my yellow is just missing and i can't use these little paint thingies to cover the whole area of this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a lot like a lot of green just for the base and then for the light part i'm gonna mix some of this other white paint i have with this green I like the color so I, I really like it it's like a, a minty color if that makes sense okay it's like a like a pastel green no there's still some other green on there you won't be able to see it's actually not that bad i like it so i'm gonna leave this here i'm gonna take my big paint brush this one this one it's not actually the biggest though the biggest i'm gonna use it for the mod podge because it covers out a wider area so i'm first gonna squeeze my green paint onto the sea the starfish and then i'll show you how it looks when it's all completely green uh Oh, this is so difficult to hold you want to like mess on yourself here's my green starfish this is my first layer i need to cover i definitely need to cover a second layer because look at how yeah so i'm gonna wait for about like 15 minutes for it to dry go over with the second layer and then do my light up i think while this um paint is still wet i think it's the best to put on the light so i'm gonna put the light part on like the parts that have like the texture with i need to find the reference picture i'm actually going by reference the, uh, the, the part that has the texture is usually like lighter than the other parts let me check okay, i can go with this picture oh, okay yeah so that's what i'm gonna do now and then it's still waiting for the fish to dry so I can go up with Mod Podge. I think they're gonna be dry at the same time and then I can put Mod Podge on both of them. So I think I saved it. It's just, it's it's not the best to look at up close. But this is what I have. I actually really like it. Uh, so I'm gonna put this at the top of my bedroom wall because I really like, like I, I was losing hope. I'm like, sure, this is not gonna go, it's not gonna turn up. It's not gonna be how I want it to look like. It's not gonna be the way I want it to be. But it actually did. Um, it's gonna be my first time using Mod Podge. Uh, I know, make a mess on my thing. Okay, so this is my Mod Podge. It's gonna be my first time using it. <coughs> Why did I smell it? I, I like when I'm curious about something that I use for the first time, I always smell it. So um, I'm using those paint brushes. I don't actually think I need paint brushes to cover such a wide area, but they always say I should rinse it with soap. And oh my gosh, it's so thick! Is it supposed to be like this bouncy look? Like, do I just like put a bunch on like the paint brush? Okay, I'm gonna start from the side. I think the layers have to be thin or something. Ah, the paint! Okay. 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 So, it turns out some of the paint isn't fully dried and I learned that the hard way. But I'm just gonna continue going. Don't stress over what I made a mistake over. Um, just continue going. Everything is getting okay. Just big, big, big. I'm trying not to stress, but not all of the paint dried up. Like, uh, no, 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 no. This is going. This is going horrible. Yeah. 
I'm gonna just layer up. You know, not everything has to be perfect in life. And I'll fix it up once this first layer dries because I cannot undo. There's no reset button. Ah. In life. Uh. It's just getting horrible and more horrible and more horrible. Okay, don't stress. I must not stress. I can fix this. Right? Um, this is what I meant by the paint didn't fully dry. Like, okay, I can fix it. I can fix it. Let me just put it down to dry. Actually, I'm gonna finish with this up. I'm gonna finish up with this tomorrow because I cannot be busy. It's like, what? I've been here for. It's nine. Okay, wait. I'm gonna finish up with this tomorrow. I cannot finish. Now. Everything has to stay here. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll finish up. Okay, so I am back. This is day two. Um, the things that I put myself through just to make and deliver proper videos for you guys is amazing. It's it's heartbreaking. Um, anyways, um, uh, yesterday where we left off, we left the starfish dry up. This is how it looks. I love it. I really like it. So I just want to go on with a proper play, proper like I really like it. And then my koi fish is another story. Um, if you obviously you watch the video till this point, if you are watching the video till this point, are you? Um, I was busy put it on the Mod Podge yesterday. And then, not all the paint, paint, <laughs> not all the paint dried up completely. So some of the paint like smudged up with the Mod Pod, and then it ruined everything. So what I'm gonna do now, which is the most painful thing ever, I'm going to go over again with white as a base coat, and like a few times because I did do a little bit, but it's not completely covering. Because obviously Mod Podge is like, it's like a liquid that becomes like a plastic, if that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do my base coat, my white base coat, and I'm going to restart. So this is my little setup. Anyways, I put up my layers. I think I'm happy with how many layers I've put on the koi fish. This is how the starfish looks. I really like it. Here's a close up. Whoa, the textures. I don't like it with a close up. Maybe if you look away at it from far away. Because, like, you see all of these pieces here. This is like from the hot look, and when you remove it, and then it has all these strings. And I tried my best to avoid the strings, but it just not, did not avoid. Anyways, I just went in with a few more spots, specifically covering specific places on this. And then I'm gonna do my things. Yeah, I, I blended colors. And my black paint is dry, like it's completely dry, like it's chunky dry, like uh. So I need to get new black paint. Uh, yeah, anyways, this is how it's going. What I did was something all of you guys should do. Oh my gosh, my angles. I put on an old t-shirt on top because I messed on my pants and I had to find ways to clean it up like I like I just picked up my phone and like how to clean up acrylic paint off of your clothes and I cleaned it to the best of my ability and it reminded me always wear something protective you no know, matter if it's old no it has to be old actually because if it's new then why are you why are you messing on it you guys also notice my funky earrings I have zips on my ears I went for something different today. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? I think this is so much better than the previous one. And like, you know, things happen for a reason. This is amazing. 
I love it. Um, I think I should add more. I think I'm gonna start with some red blotches, and then obviously because we can't have any black, black is chunky and dry. So this is what I have. I really like it. I just need to find out what I'm gonna do for these eyes because obviously it's gonna be creepy just to have two bumps there. But this is really nice. So, anyways, I'm gonna wait for this to dry properly. I don't wanna go through the same thing again because my red paint is finished. Um, so I'm gonna make it dry properly and then I'm gonna go over with Mod Pod. Okay, so, anyways, yeah. Um, it's gonna take so long like this whole process has taken weeks but anyways yeah guys thank you for staying tuned to part one two and three you guys are truly amazing yes you guys are truly amazing also like and subscribe yes for more because when you like and you subscribe you motivate me to make more videos instead of just dumping everything and just leaving it and just you know dropping it off and like i'm done with this i'm not gonna do it anymore i want to do it but i need the motivation to do it yeah anyways bye